Well, advisors right now are real, real nervous. They really don't know what to do. Um, you know, investment grade with a long duration, uh, little small coupons, rising rates, it's really hurting them. Um, with treasuries, you know, you got conflicting reports. You know, some people say go long, growth said go long today, it's going to go to 1.7. Other people are saying, you know, they're going to keep rising with QE going away. So it's really a mix, mixed message out there right now with, uh, with what rate, rates are going to do and where you get income. Well, high yield is still popular. You've seen some money flows leave the last two weeks out of the big mutual funds and the big ETFs. Um, but, but really, people are, are there because you're still getting decent yield spreads over the Treasury. And so you're able to still collect, you know, in, in our ETF, around 8% dividend yield. So that's still, you know, uh, 600 basis points, which is very well inside the norm historically on, uh, on rates. We've grown tremendously uh, gaining assets into our product over the last, uh, you know, well, we went public two and a half years ago, but really the last year is people are really discovering the active management. The beta trade is over. The money flow is coming into the product. Uh, all the products is really slowed. So the beta trade is really over. So now you need to be a bond picker going forward. And that's what we've done for 20 years. We've been able to pick bonds. Um, we, we, we look at the economic cycle going forward. We pick industries and bonds going forward that are going to do well in that environment. Um, the default environment right now is very benign. It's going to be that way going forward. So you have to have an active management strategy. And that's what really people are looking at is how can you, even if rates do rise, um, how do you adjust for that? Well, for us, we are able to sell premiums and buy lower discount paper that have traded down. So it's just a complete turnover of the portfolio. And as things appreciate, you sell and you, you buy lower. The index products can't do that. Once they go into the index, they can't sell until it gets taken out of the index at some point in the future. So that's the problem with the big index products. For us, we really like companies that have a business or a service that's sustainable in all economic cycles. Uh, we saw that in 2008, you know, we discount our models 30 and 40 percent in case of doomsday. Right now, energy, there's a lot of stuff going on in energy, you know, natural gas prices and oils at 96 bucks. That tells you something going on about the economy. If we we're flushing oil, you know, it would be 60 bucks a barrel, not 95 bucks a barrel. So there's a lot of places to go there. Healthcare is still with the uncertainty of, you know, Obamacare. You know, there's still a lot of uncertainty there. There's a lot of good pickups there in healthcare. So that, that's what creates the opportunity. The headlines create opportunity for you.